My name's Jill Grinstead and I'm currently employed as Director of Sales and Marketing at Forest Holidays, which is an equity-backed company based in the Midlands and we offer luxury holidays on Forestry Commission land in superb cabins. really useful thing to do would be to do some of these kind of Myers-Briggs tests and things. I don't know if they're done at university today, I think they're probably not, but I think some of those kind of personal profile tests that you can just do yourself, just give you more insight into you and give you a view on, um, you know, whether you're very data oriented, whether you like structure, whether you uh, like rule following and all those sorts of things. And I'm sure if you then discuss the output of that with somebody who had worked a while in a senior job, yeah. they would kind of help you along the way to make those decisions. For me it's about the right commercial challenge, it's also for me about the culture. The culture to me is absolutely key. I would counsel anybody to think closely as one of that, of that as one of the criteria, what culture works for you best. Is it a formal culture, is it an empowered culture, is it a hierarchical culture, is it a multicultural culture, what really floats your boat? And I got that wrong. I was headhunted to do a certain job and when I got there I felt the culture was very wrong for me. It's about, for me, following also your heart as well as your mind. And is the company culture fit? Is that something you've learned as you've gained more experience? You've learned what's important to you and, and things like that when you're looking? Yeah, I think that's absolutely right, Sophie, that um, uh, yeah, I think, I think you get to understand what are the pros and cons of certain cultures and, and I think um, also, frankly, time moves on and we all as individuals accept different things today than we did 20 years ago. So for me, for example, non-hierarchical cultures are quite important. Okay. Although I have a senior role, I don't want people to feel they couldn't come to me even if they don't report to me. I don't want people to feel they can't express a view if they're quite junior in the organisation because actually many of the great business ideals come from the coalface, not from the senior team, <laughs> because those are the people close to it the issues is and sometimes. problems and opportunities. Absolutely. So you have to build a culture where you can unleash the power of individuals to come to you and say, I've got a great idea. Absolutely. That's how businesses move on, in my opinion. So that's really important, I think. Yeah, great. And the kind of mistake I made not many years ago when there was this kind of lack of cultural fit was I, I hadn't spent enough time in advance of taking that job understanding the culture. And that was, you know, it's a learning. I think there's a number of things you can do yourself to research actually and so it depends what it is but you know if it were a service solution as opposed to a product you could actually interact with that service you know gone as a customer even if I'm not to an organization and see what happens to you you get a sense of of, of kind of culture from some of the questions you can ask there mm -hmm. so that's one of the things you could as part of the interview process kind of insist that you meet some of the colleagues I mean that's happened uh, I've asked for that in the past mm -hmm. and um, it's been asked of me in the past actually can I come and spend half a day here you, you could do that and I think it's an important interview question you know to get the boss the interviewer um, telling you about the culture tell me about your culture you know yeah. what's it like blah, blah, blah. and you'll get some sort of description of it and you could ask things about hierarchical hierarchical reaction and um, that type of thing so I think there's some things you can do and the absolute critical thing to me too is my boss having okay. you know actually having a relationship with your boss that works and that there's mutual respect, I think, is one of the most important things. It's a bit like sort of a date, dating somebody, actually. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. a very intense relationship if you, you know, with, with your boss. I think you can take great learnings from terrible bosses or terrible experiences, yeah. not just bosses. It doesn't kind of matter. You know, you'll, you'll, through life, you'll have good and bad experiences. But as long as you're learning from the bad ones, I think that's really, really key. Sure. So, yeah, for me, it's about um, commercial challenge, number one, um, cultural fit and the boss <laughs> and I think make sure then coming back to what I've already said that it's a an environment that makes you smile okay. that, that that feels like it's uh, something positive and worthwhile great well thank you very much Jill thank you wonderful